Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, I believe that... Uh, we're being misled by the mainstream media right now. I think public sentiment is way out of control in terms of its love of the SEC. From where I sit, there is no better football conference right now in the United States than the Pac-12. Right? I'm guessing if you're placing a bet on action, you're betting on a 2014 game right you're not betting on the history of some conference right you're betting on where the teams are right now in my opinion there are not a better four team group in this country in college than there are with USC Stanford UCLA and Oregon Right? I believe, quite frankly, if you just look at the level of quarterbacking, it's not close. Right, I would argue that the best quarterback, in fact, the best player right now in college football is Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota. Right? I would argue that Sean Mannion, Taylor Kelly, they're on the rise, as is UCLA's quarterback Brett Hundley. Right now, let's talk about this UCLA Texas matchup this weekend. Quite frankly, I believe it's a mismatch. I understand Texas is returning 15 guys, etc. Yada yada. Right? I'm expecting UCLA to win. The bet I'm recommending here, let's be conservative, is UCLA simply to win the game on a money line. You're getting a minus 280. Folks, that's better than a 33% return. Right? Let's play it safe. Let's not be pigs. You'll be happy with the profit. Right? Because, quite frankly, this game's odds should be more lopsided. Brett Hundley has completed 69% of his passes. Right? Understand last week, both Thomas Duarte and Jordan Payton at over a hundred receiving yards right UCLA is 2-0 and now let's talk about Texas a team that's already lost at home understand they have a new coach right I'm not here to pick on Charlie Strong but the bottom line is he's you know dealing with players in a style that he did not recruit or create Right? He's also suspended some players from the team. That's great for disciplinarians. It depletes talent. His quarterback, David Ash, is out. He's not going to play. Right, In my opinion, things right now are not going well at Texas. And I believe they're in over their heads against a superior team. Now, I encourage you to look hard at the UCLA Bruins. They're one of the better teams in the Pac-12. In fact, I encourage you to look hard at the Pac-12. Right? I'm expecting the Pac-12 to continue to dominate when they play non-conference games. Look at UCLA against Virginia. Right? UCLA was up 21-3 in that game. 21 Three, I understand they didn't come looking inspired against Memphis. But understand, Memphis wasn't considered to be an elite team. Right? Just know there's a reason why you have so many successful Pac-12 former quarterbacks in the National Football League. Right? Aaron Rodgers went to Cal. Nick Foles went to Arizona. Carson Palmer is an SC man. Andrew Luck went to Stanford. 
Right? Understand that's how deep the conference is. They have multiple NFL starting quarterbacks and they're not all from the same school. Right? Understand the water is deeper than that when you look at backups. Guys like Mark Sanchez, Matt Barkley, they're in the league as well. I would argue that the Pac-12 has been playing at an elite level for quite some time. Just look at the number of BCS Bowl games the Stanford Cardinal has played in recently. Right? And I'm just here to tell you that when a Pac-12 team plays a team with a new head coach who's missing their quarterback from outside the conference, I'll take my chances taking that Pac-12 team. I like UCLA. I like the minus 280. I think the money line is the way to go here. It is true. UCLA has not covered against the spread in either game they've played this year. Right? But just understand talent-wise, they're more talented than Texas. I don't think Texas is ready for UCLA's passing attack. I like UCLA on a money line getting a minus 280. I'm not going to sneeze at a rate of return greater than 30%. I like the Pac-12 in this one. I like UCLA. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.